All right, so today we're going to fit the uh, bonnet strut so we get rid of this archaic little peg here and put some struts in. Um, our kit has two struts, not the singular one, but for today's video I'm just going to install one just so you get the gist of it. This is our pack here with the two struts mounting kit. So I'll install one, do it as we go and yeah, go from there. Alright, so in each pack there's two of everything. So obviously there's the two struts, there's two um, strut mount bolts there that go onto the actual bonnet itself. Two bolts for these brackets here, yeah, obviously two of those brackets which go on the fender, um, the little uh, receiving ends for the bonnet bolts which we'll see in a second and a couple of washers. So under our bonnet here the last one on the fender before the hinge we're going to undo this, this first um, bolt that the fender is hooked to the body with. That's a 10mm socket so best if you get your little socket wrench out and just undo like so. Okay, so we've got our first little mounting bracket. Let's try and juggle the phone and bracket. So you can see that lines up there with our first OEM bolt hole and the other one in the panel. So we're just going to put our OEM bolt back in. Now in this one we've got our nut and our bolt there, which is going to be a little hard to do holding the phone, but drop that bolt in there and put this nut in on the other side so you can see there we've got the notch cut out in the, in the bracket to go around this on the panel this one here loops over the guard here sits nice and flush so we've got the nut and the bolt in there i'm just doing this back up with our terminal just to get that on there now this one's going to be really tricky to film on the phone but we've got our bonnet mounted strap mount with the washer. This goes into this hole here. Okay, so you know, the washer's going to mount up there. It's going to sit nice and, nice and flush when it's finished. We've got this well-designed little nut essentially which we're going to slot through here. Slot through here to make it line up with this hole here. If you look closely you can see it moves in there so we can actually hold it in place and get that lined up. Much easier than getting a nut and a spanner through the hole trying to get that done. One quirky little thing that may have happened uh, which I just found out through the installation process is we've got this end here which has got that little kit to it with this one here which is straight so the nature of these struts is that the the wider piece of the hydraulic needs to be at the bottom while the arm needs to be at the top here. So some of these you may inadvertently have received uh, with the ends around the wrong way. It's pretty simple, just unscrew it. swap them around just so that you have this one on your base and this one on your bonnet so once you've got these you know, the base one clipped on there you just need to give the bonnet a little, little push to lift it up to get it into position and give it a click now I've only done that very loosely so just for the video purposes, just so you can see that there. All right, so we've finished fitting the two straps. And bear in mind, they are brand new, so they're fairly stiff. It does look like you're getting a little bit of a bend there in the panel. It's just the flex, and obviously where it's happening, but it's braced at both ends. But it does open and shut quite nicely. 
holds itself up with no annoying prop, so we can do it, get rid of that. And off we go. Best of luck.